Hello viewers, thank you very much for tuning in and today we're going to have a look at the Celestron Astromaster 70 EQ telescope and as always if it's your first time watching our channel or you're a regular viewer don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So this one comes with a very nice German EQ mount and unlike the lower end power seeker range it comes with steel tube legs rather than the thinner aluminium ones that you get with the power seekers. As, as you see the EQ head there, that, that's pretty much in its starting position with the correct latitude. But when you first take it out of the box it, it's all folded up and doesn't quite look like that. So I'll probably do another video showing you how to unfold or unravel the EQ head and set the correct latitude. So with this one, it is very easy to move around. Very smooth movement. It's an EQ mount so don't try to force it, just let it go very smoothly and it's always best to track uh, left to right because if you keep tracking this way you'll end up looking at the ground which wouldn't be very good. You can either do what I'm doing now, move it around freely or there are a couple of locking nuts around the back that you can tighten up and use it for manual you know, uh, fine tune adjustments. So it's a 70mm objective lens, fully coated optics and it comes with a couple of basic eyepieces which are modified achromatics which is a posh way of saying budget. You get uh, and it's a f12.8 focal ratio and that's 900mm focal length which is very good for photography which I'll come into in a, in a second. The eyepieces you get are 20mm and 10mm which the 20 millimeter in particular gives very good eye relief and they give 45 and 90 magnification. I don't understand why so many or a number of small telescopes come with claims of three, four, five hundred times magnification. That, that's simply not going to happen. You will not be able to focus the image. So what you what can you see through this scope you're going to get some delightful views of craters on the moon even at 45 times 90 times even better when you turn to venus as it is at the moment you will see it like a little crescent moon jupiter you will see the four galilean moons very easily and they will change position throughout the night you'll be able to track that and you'll be able to see a couple of the brighter cloud belts on the disc itself. Saturn, you will see the rings around Saturn and three, four, maybe five of its brightest moons. Mars is a bit more of a tricky subject, target. You might just see some subtle detail such as the polar ice caps but only when it's at its closest point. Uranus, you might just see it as a small blue, bluey green disc. But also, with it being a long focal length, it is very good at looking at double stars. There are hundreds and thousands of colourful double stars to look at, and anybody that knows me will know that that is one of my favourite subjects. So don't just think when it comes to high-powered astronomy, it's just about the moon and the planets. There are some lovely double stars to look at. And, and also, even if you invest in a lower power eyepiece, it should be very good with... Um, rich field star clusters and things like that such as the Pleiades and the Beehive cluster. It is fully coated optics so the image is a little bit soft compared to the multi coated optic uh, telescopes that you can buy or fully multi coated but considering the price, the price you pay very little, you do get a lot for your money and for you prime focus photographers out there you, you do get infinity focus with this. Just remove the diagonal and then put in a T adapter and a T ring for whichever DSLR camera you're using and you can get some delightful views of the moon here with uh, using this telescope so it's you can use it for photography as well. So that is just uh, a quick rundown. Oh, I forgot to mention the, the latest models now come with the new version of the red dot finder the older one some people couldn't get on with it and so this one is very easy to fit and there is an, an additional leaflet in the instructions which shows how to fit that. So I hope that helps. That's a, a quick look at the Celestron Astromaster 70 EQ telescope. 
Thank you very much for watching as always and please check out the links in the description below.